I've got a couple more problems from this uh, section, and I'll probably post videos that I've made for Calculus 1. So a lot of this stuff is going to be review. All right, so here for 355 in our denominator, we've got x to the first power, x to the second power, and x to the third power. And above it, we've got an x to the zero, x to the first, x to the, x to the second. So uh, it looks like we're going to let u simply equal 3x plus 3x squared plus x cubed. That means du is equal to 3 plus 6x plus 3x squared times dx, which is not what we have in the numerator. However, if we divide, pull out the, a 3, factor out a 3, du over 3 is equal to 1 plus 2x plus x squared dx. And that's exactly what we have over there on the, on the top part of the integral there. So therefore, this equals the integral of 1 over u du, excuse me, one third out front. So that's one third ln of u. And when we put in u back in, we've got one third ln of 3x plus 3x squared plus x cubed, all evaluated between 1 and 2. So when we plug in the 2, we get ln of 6 plus 3 times 4 is 12, and 2 cubed is 8. When we plug in the 1s, we subtract the next part, ln of 3 plus 3 plus 1. So we can lose the absolute value since in both cases we're dealing with um, positive integers. This is ln of 26 minus ln of 7. And we can rewrite this as 1 third ln of 26 over 7 by using the properties of the logarithms. We have a difference of two logarithms, which means we can take a quotient of the first over the second. All right, let's deal with the second problem here. We don't have an integration for cotangent. However, this is the same thing as saying cotangent is cosine of x or sine of x. So here, if we let u equal sine of x, which is our denominator, that when we take the derivative, that we'll get rid of the numerator. That means du is equal to cosine of x dx, which is exactly what we have left over. So this equals integral of 1 over u du, which goes to natural log. And I'm going to plug back in the u, so sine of x. And this is evaluated from pi by 4 up to pi by 3. So the natural log of sine of pi by 4 minus the natural log of sine of pi. Well, this one's pi by 4, the other one's pi by 3, excuse me. It's a bigger number. That means the natural log, so sine of pi by 3 is root 3 over 2. And pi by 4 is root 2 over 2. And again, we can use the uh, logarithmic function to divide these. So this is ln of root 3 over 2 divided by root 2 over 2, which is equal to the natural log of root 3 over root 2. And you can make this look a little nicer, but I'm just going to go with this as the answer. Okay. 